Who isn't in need of more energy? Who isn't desiring a little bit less stress? Well, my name is Adam Hart, and it wasn't too long ago where I was pre-diabetic at the age of 26. I'm now 34, but taking me back to when I was 26, very, very unhealthy. I was doing a little bit of work for a company where I had unlimited access to a vending machine, but also living off a lot of fast foods. And I took full advantage of that vending machine. You know, my habits were quite poor, and I really didn't understand how food impacted my overall health. Things have changed in the last six, seven, eight years. And now I'm really familiar with the idea of the power of food, essentially how important food is for our overall health. And the ideas of getting healthier snacking choices, such as something that we're gonna show you here today, which is my flourless hemp cookies. First start with our egg. This is an organic egg, locally grown. The reason why I wanna go for organic is definitely to avoid any added hormones or antibiotics that are given to eggs. So we're going to get that right in there. Give it a quick little mix. We're gonna add in our all natural peanut butter. Now, the reason why we wanna go for all natural peanut butter is because many of the peanut butters on the market today are full of a lot of sugars, salts, and definitely a lot of hydrogenated oil. That's something we wanna avoid. So this peanut butter has only one ingredient, and that's the peanut. Many of us avoid that because it has the oils that sit on the top, but that's actually very healthy for us. So that's one cup of that right there. Add in just a half a teaspoon of baking powder. There we go, that will help the cookies settle and rise. Now we have the number one nutritional resource on the planet. This is a one cup of hemp seeds, also known as hemp hearts. Now, the reason why these are very, very healthy for you is because they contain all the essential amino acids, making it a complete protein, all nine amino acids. Also very healthy with fats and also good carbohydrates, along with several vitamins and minerals that we can't live without. So a main staple in my kitchen. So we'll just put those right in the bowl. And then we're going to add in a half a cup of raw cane sugar. Now, this is not your regular table white sugar. This is actual raw cane sugar. The way it metabolizes in your system is a lot different from the white refined sugars. I'm going to add that right in there as well. So now we're going to go to our Belgian dark chocolate. Now, the reason why I chose a chocolate that's not from the United States or from Canada has a lot to do with the idea of soy. And soy lecithin is a main emulsifier used in chocolate, which is also a heavily genetically modified ingredient. So by looking for chocolate that's based from other countries, we can avoid a lot of that genetic modification, which is very unhealthy for us. So I'm just gonna chop that up. This gives us our chocolate chunks as opposed to chocolate chips, which is often a really nice bonus. Take all our chocolate chunks, and now we give that one big mix. And these are flourless. And the reason why I went with no flour is that, well, for one, many of us have gluten issues where we can't digest gluten, which is the protein that's inside a lot of the flours that we choose to use. The other idea is that based on the wheat, which is our most popular grain, it's heavily, heavily refined, heavily processed, which means that there's not a whole lot of nutritional value in it, and also acts as a very simple carbohydrate, which means you get a big spike in energy and then a big crash, which uh, is kind of a vicious cycle and something that I remember going through quite a bit when I was living out of vending machines and fast foods. So going without flour automatically eliminates that altogether. So it's actually a quite nutritious snack, especially for on the go. This will make about a dozen or so cookies, depending on what size you want them. As far as having it as a snack throughout your day, that's actually a really good size. This will give you a lot of that nutritional content that you need in that size. So it makes roughly about 14 cookies. And what you want to do is you just want to pat them down a little bit. Now, as far as how you spread them out on your baking sheet, it doesn't really need a whole lot of space because they're not going to expand much more than what you're pressing down at. So there's no need to worry about having to spread them out too much. And the oven should be set for 350, and it should take about 10 minutes at the most, and they'll be done. Get a little of these flourless hemp seed chocolate chip cookies. It's something that took about 10, 15 minutes to prepare. We've got five main ingredients, all whole food, natural ingredients. They haven't been broken down, altered, or transformed in any way. Compared to some of the cookies on the market now that consist of maybe 10, 15, 30 ingredients, and these are highly processed ingredients that give you very little in the way of nutritional value. So it's really important that now we become aware that this is possible. We can do this ourselves, and it doesn't take a whole lot of time. You have the choice, now that you're aware of some of these things, to get out there and make that choice for a healthier snack. So in good health, enjoy. Mm -hmm.